What's up, my brothers and sisters? What's up? This is your boy, Big K Solo. What's the deal? Hope everything is good by you guys. Everything is okay over here. Uh, shout out to everybody out there, man. And um, shout out to everybody that been texting me, man. Been calling me. Yo, Solo, why you not coming on? Why you not going on? Why, why you not doing no lives? Why, you know, like I told you guys, just like I told you guys, today I had like four texts and like three phone calls. And not including yesterday, day before yesterday, and all that. You know, f you know, people calling me up, telling me what's going on, why I'm not alive, um, if I'm okay. Look, I'm all right. I'm all right. Physically, I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, being honest with you guys, like I told you guys, man, you know, this shit becomes a headache, man. You know, doing right inside the stories, uh, going live every day. You know, it's like the fun, the fun went, the fun left at me, man. I mean, you know, like I said, I still love doing it, but it's not like it used to be. It's not like it used to be, man. You know, we have a lot of, a lot of people like, you know, it's hard for me to, to explain it without speaking negative, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want nobody to say, oh, you know. He's throwing shots at me, or and I'm not doing none of that. Believe me, I'm not doing none of that. It's just you know, you know, writing silent stories, and then um, telling stories about this and talking about your life and this and that, and, and it's like people start doing the same thing, you know, and and it just got boring. It got boring. Don't get me wrong, once again, I love getting in contact with, with people on the, on the internet. I love talking to people on the phone. I love people when they come live. I love it. It's just, I don't know, maybe I got to take a lot of time off, man. You know, more than what I think it, I, I'm, more than what I think I'm supposed to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, listen, man, I come to you guys, meant to tell you guys, uh, something that I got to talk about, man, and, and, and it is about Rikers Island. Yeah, about Rikers Island, man. And why sh do I believe that people from 35 and up should not get locked up, man? Should not get locked up at all. I mean, if you out there slinging, if you still out there slinging, you 40, you in your 50s, and you out there slinging, bro, my brothers, you guys are doing something wrong. You guys are doing something way backwards. I mean, think about this, bro. Me, I'm 54. I'm going to be 55 uh, in two months. If God willing, I'll be 55 in two months. Now, I cannot see myself going back to Ireland, right? Because I'm, first of all, if you're sick, if you have some kind of problem with your heart, with your lungs, or, 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 or back problem, whatever kind of problems you got, ass problem, you know, whatever you got. I believe that you guys should not get locked up, man. I believe that whatever you guys are doing out there that's illegal, and I'm talking about if you guys are doing something illegal, stop it. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you guys should know this. Rikers Island don't give a fuck about you. They don't care if you're sick. As a matter of fact, they just, they just lost a lawsuit a couple of days ago about uh, uh, them lying, not taking people to their, to their appointments. Not taking people to the appointment, so they got they sue them for every time they did not take somebody to the appointment, they sued them for two hundred and eighty eight dollars. So that came out to a few thousands of dollars. Check it out. Check it out. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh Rikers Island got sued because, you know, how they go and they, they, they take people, they they supposed to have like, you know, take people to sick call. Uh the the doctor in Rikers Island, whatever honky donkey doctor is taking care of that jail that you in, if it's C ninety five, C seventy three, whatever jail that you at in Rikers Island, you have you have a head a head doctor. That doctor makes appointments for other for inmates. And what happens is that sometimes the administration don't want to take it to your appointment or they miss up or, or they mess up your appointment or or they take you mad late and you cannot see the doctor not because you miss your appointment. You got there mad late, so the doctors, you know, you, you got doctors got to do some other things. And these are talking about like Kings County Hospital, uh, hospitals like that. I ain't talking about no Rikers Island hospitals. I'm talking about big hospitals that they have to take. Literally, they have they got to take inmates to those to, to these main hospitals out in the world. And like I said, sometimes they don't take the inmates, or when they do take the inmates, sometimes they get there mad late, or they get there too early. 
um, something always wound up happening. And Rikers Island got sued. And I think it's a couple hundreds of thousands of dollars because it, you know, it, it, it added up $288. Every time Rikers Island don't take an inmate to their, their appointment, they hit them with a fine of $288. And right now, Rikers Island owns a few hundreds of thousands of dollars, being honest to you. And it's good. It's good, for, it's good that it happens to Rikers Island because, you know, you have a lot of sick people that goes to Rikers Island. Whatever they have, HIV, cancer, whatever you have, you know, you have a lot of sick people that go to these to these to these jails and they die. Bro, this year only you got nineteen people that died. Bro, that's that's way, way too much people. Way too much people. And this, and these are the people that we know about that's coming out in the news. These are people that we know about that's coming out in the news. What about a state? What about a state? You know, that's another one that you got to think about. But being honest to you, though, I might as well be better upstate than being in, in Rikers Island. Honestly. Because I have taken, that, that has taken me to the hospital on, in Rikers Island and emergencies, and I has gotten to the hospital the same day. Yeah, no question about that. You're going to wait, but whatever. But in Rikers Island, them taking you to the hospital? Forget about it. I mean, hours, hours. So if anybody out there that's sick, man, please, man, whatever you guys are doing out there that's, that's illegal, bro, stop it. Because you're not going to be taken care of the way you would be taken care of if you was upstate or if you was on your own out here in the world. And if you out there and you're homeless, my brothers, please, man, you know, they got programs, man. They got places where you can go. And if you're single, you can go and they'll take care of you, but they'll give you a warm place to stay. I never been through that. I never been to no to no homeless shelter like that. And thank God I haven't never been through that. And I don't want to go through that. But you know, if I if, if one day I would have to, I, I would do whatever it takes for me to go somewhere where I could lay down and and stay warm. And stay warm. You understand what I'm saying? So you know, and then now, especially now that I got heart problems and and and, and this and that, and and I know, man, I, I don't want to go to no Rikers Island. Are you crazy? So I, I, I know I love myself too much for me to go out there and get in trouble. Go out there and, and, and go backwards and go hustle some drugs or, or go steal cars or go whatever you want, whatever you do out there, whatever's your whatever is your flow, yo. It's your flow. But you're not that young no more. And I'm talking to these guys that are thirty five and forties and forty five and fifties, man. Actually, if you go into jail in your fifties, man, you should be embarrassed. I'm being honest to you. You should be embarrassed. The only way that 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 that, that if, if if God you know if it happens happens, but the only way that I, I won't go back is if somebody try to disrespect me, try to hurt me, or try to hurt one of my family. I have no problem. I have no problem going to the island. I have no problem doing twenty five. But as long as nobody fucks with me, man, don't fuck with my family. I'm happy. I'm I'm I'm, I'm content. And I will not go out there and do anything illegal that's gonna get me in trouble. Fuck no. Like I said, but Rikers Island is not what it was, man, and it will never be. So my brothers and sisters out there that are still doing their thing, they're still selling drugs, that, that, that's doing whatever the fuck you're doing, you know, walking with guns or whatever, man. Even to the young brothers out there, man, like it's not the thing, man. If you don't got no family that's going to support you, bro, you done. You done. Bro, I'm 54 years old. I got all my, my two brothers passed away. I have a couple of sisters that passed away. My mom's passed away. So the older I get, the older your family gets, and the sicker they get, and the sicker you get. Next thing you know, bro, you in Rikers Island. You're 60 years old in Rikers Island. Talking about, oh, my daughter don't love me. Oh, my sisters don't send me no money. Oh, my daughter don't send me no money. But, bro, they don't got to send you money because they didn't do that to yourself, to, to you. You did that to yourself. Because you and you fucking 58 years old still out there selling drugs. You 58 years old, you go out there and do a burglary and they catch you. Now you're 60 in jail. And you got two years left or three years left. You don't want to go to that route, man. You don't want to go that route. You don't want to go that route that you go upstate and you got to live by the land. But you got to live on the land. So that means that you don't go to compensate because any money you get, any money you get, if you get money, they're going to take that. Because you go up there, you go up state with a surcharge, bro. 
You got to pay for your DNA now. Bro, your DNA is like about 300 something dollars now. And every surcharge is like three or 400. I mean, last time I was in the island, it was 2006, B. And I remember this guy that he had a $2,000 surcharge, bro. And he was okay. His family had little money. So imagine those that don't got no money at all. Yo, you will be on your surcharge. You will be on uh, car fare. I mean, your, 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 how do you call it? Open date. Your open date, 40 nasty dollars that they give you. And matter of fact, they don't even give it to you no more. They take it from your, from your whatever little pay that you get. The little seven, eight dollars that you get upstate every two weeks, they take that from there. And they take your surcharge from there too. So you wind up wanting to start with three or four dollars every two weeks. That's not the way to live, bro. You can't live you can't live like that in the island. I mean upstate. On Rikers Island. So my brothers, man, please, man. Stay out of trouble, man. Stay out of jail, man. Stay out of jail. And for these young brothers out there, the same thing to you guys, man. You're young. Don't end up going to jail. What's that, baby? Yeah, well, I'm oh, um, thank you, mommy. Thank you. That's that's all, that's my that's my aspirants. That's my aspirants. Thank you, beauty. Yes, yeah, so like I was telling you guys, you guys are young. You guys don't want to go to fucking jail, man. Man, remember, but the worst thing to have be is have your mom pass away while you in jail. Thank God, be that when I came home, my mom was out here for two months, bro. Thank God. I got to make my mother laugh for the last, for the last time, you know, that I saw her laughing hysterically. Um, you know, I, I got to see her cry. I got to, you know, I got to see my mother. I wish I had more time with her. I wish I had her right now. But I don't. I wish I had my brothers, my sisters that passed away, I, but I don't. I wish I had my family still living in the Bronx, but I don't. You know, all my nieces, all my nieces, my, you know, my sisters upstate, my nieces in Connecticut, Pennsylvania, whatever, wherever they at, God bless them. So it's just me, my beautiful niece, two niece, uh, one sister, and 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 two or three niece that I have. One sister. Um, my nephews are spread around all around, um, and that's who I have. I have my beautiful daughter, but she's you know somewhere else. You know. Um, would I love to spend time with my daughter? Hell's fucking yeah. I mean, even even now more. Would I like to spend time with my grandkids? I would love that. But it's not happening. I can't continue, you know, pushing back and thinking about the back. I can't think about that. So I just got to think for it, man. And as long as my daughter knows that I love her, as long as every chance I could go, I could get and call her and text her and 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 and, and say I love you. As long as she knows that, as long as I know that I love my daughter, I'm happy. And you know, if my grandkids will ever get, you know, uh, will ever would like to know who was their who was their grandfather, all they gotta do is go to YouTube and they will see a lot of videos of me. They will see how funny their, their grandfather was. They will see how 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 serious their grandfather was. They will see how wonderful a storyteller I was. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they will see the good. They will see the bad. But they will see their grandpa, their real grandpa. You feeling me? And, I'm, and, I, and I could deal with that. I could deal with that. But people, people, man, being honest with you guys, man, just chill, man. Listen, man, Rikers Island is not the thing, bro. It's not. And no matter how powerful you are, no matter how powerful, no matter if you're down with bloods, bro, and the bloods got the whole jail locked down, that's not the move, B. The move is to be free. I, you don't want nobody to tell you what time you got to go fucking take a shit, what time you got to eat. When you can watch TV, when you can't watch TV, when you can beat your dick, when you can't beat your dick. I'm being honest to you guys, bro. When to kiss your wife, when not to kiss your wife. Bro, I ain't been through that, bro. I have this, is B. Yo, Ribeiro, you can't kiss your wife like that. I mean, what the fuck, B? I ain't, I ain't playing with her pussy. <laughs> being honest to you, son. You know, and plus that's another thing I will never do that, man. Because you know that's another thing that a lot of guys do, man, when they get their business, man. And this is something that you guys should learn. Some people that never been in jail before, man. If you have a girl and you go to and you go to jail and you got your girl with you and your girl's hanging on, she come visit you. Never ever get your girl hot, babe. Don't do that because you get her hot. You playing with her and all that shit. She's out of there, red alert. She 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 leaves that visiting room hot like fire. So that shit is on fire. And you're going to have the next nigga, babe, next CEO that's going to see that. You know how many CEOs get pussy, bro? 
from the island. You know how many COs get pussy from inmates' wife's boat? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, bro. You should, yo, let me tell you, man. I'm a bouncer, and I work with a lot of COs, bro. And they be, yo, they be, oh, my God. They, they be having girls, bro. This is no bullshit. I have stories like this, bro. Girls. And if you don't believe me, bro, you can check out this big story that happened in 2006, the last time I was there, in C95. That was a CO. I forgot the motherfucker's name. There was a CO that he was blasting mad dude's wife. There was an inmate. I forgot that it was a black brother. And the black brother told his wife, yesterday, she said, yo, go ahead. Or maybe that was his shorty. I don't know. But he told his shorty, yo, go ahead. Fuck with that nigga. Fuck with him. Give him whatever you got to give him. And bring in, that, bring in that, that bag. Bring that bag in here. And that's what she was doing. She was giving the, the seal pussy. And this nigga was in charge of the visiting room. He was in charge of the visiting room. So she was giving him that, that you know, she was giving that nigga skins. And Humbo was not, yo, don't, don't, don't worry about it. She's good. With that lightly touching and shit up there, you know, that, that searching and shit. Nah, I don't search it, she's good. Oh, he, oh, the story was that he was bringing it in, some shit like that. I, I forgot what it was, but I think he was bringing it in, or she, or, or, or he was like, yeah, don't, don't, don't touch her, leave her, you know, she's good. You know, I checked the aisle already, some shit like that. But the dude, the, 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 the CEO went to jail. He went to jail because the same girl that was doing that shit, that, that was bringing all that money to, to her man, Money that that CEO was giving her too, you know what I'm saying? To take care of her man, she wound up and flipping. Her man copped out, on to go to state now. She wound up and flipping. Yeah, this CEO right here, I've been doing this for him. I was doing that for him. Um, you know, I told him that I was not gonna do this no more. So he was harassing me. Then she got a lawsuit off this nigga. Oh, off Rikers Island. She, she, I think she beat Rikers Island the lawsuit. I gotta check it out. But I think she did. And there's a lot of females that have been doing that to the COs. And there's a lot of COs that have been fucking in May's wipes. No lie, yo. So, you know, guys, man, listen, man. Vegas is not the thing, man. No matter how much power you got, man. Like I said, I have your blood, crib, king, Dario, whatever, man. You don't want that. You don't want the next man, a nigga that you older, like me, I'm 54. You think I want a 25-year-old motherfucker tell me what to do, when to take a shit, when not to take a shit? When I can eat something, when I can't eat something, when I can turn on my light, when I cannot turn on my light, when I can kiss my wife, when I cannot kiss my wife, when I could kiss, when I could and when I can't kiss my wife? I don't want nobody to tell me that. Then I don't want nobody younger than me telling me that shit. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys, man. And I don't care if you guys are young, old, whatever you guys are. You your own man. So do the right thing. And stop going to Rikers Island. But that's not the, it's not the thing, bro. It's not the thing. All right? The reasons why you should not go to Rikers Island, especially if, you, if you're 40 and older. <sighs> anyway, guys, man, this is your boy K Solo, man. This is what I'm going to be doing for now on, man. Like I said, I'm going to be doing positive. They're telling my story. Like I said, I'm going to be doing... I'm going to tell some more stories about me and shit like that, man. And, um, you know, just be careful, people. Whatever, you, whatever you're doing out there, be careful, man. Just don't live that cowboy life, man. There's no need for that, bro. It's nice being in your house with your wife, with your loved ones, walking in and out whenever you want. Smiling the air, even though it's New York, but it's... <laughs> Feeling me, it's New York City for this air. Anyway, this is your boy K Solo. God bless you, everybody out there, man. Just in case, just in case I don't see you guys, uh, uh, when is it? Uh, on the 25th, on Christmas, man. Maybe Christmas, and I love you guys. You heard? I really do. All right, this is your boy K Solo, man. God bless you guys. Peace. Bye.